Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last Thursday, our family received devastating news. We were shattered, we were broken, and over the weekend, we took some time for togetherness. Today, I want to tell you the story of Melinda Hunt. Melinda is a vibrant, smart, amazing 18-year-old who our family loves and adores. She is my niece, and her dad, Ron, was my brother. I felt strongly that I couldn't do her justice today, so I'm going to tell her story in her own words. I quote, Last week, my neurologist said, I'm sorry, Melinda, you have juvenile Huntington's disease. Of course, it broke down and my world shattered. Then he opened the other envelope and he said, you have 63 CAG repeats. The juvenile version means that the symptoms of Huntington's start earlier and they're more intense and they progress much faster. I started to realize that I act exactly how my dad did when he was sick. At work, it was 10 times harder for me than it should be. My short-term memory was messing with me and I was having intense troubles counting money, making change, or counting anything. I would stop what I was doing and I would break down. My dad had a rare case of Huntington's and had high CAG repeats also. It came with the label, he's going to die young, and he did. My CAG repeats are higher. That means mine is worse than his. With such a number, high number of CAG repeats in the term juvenile Huntington's, I'm terrified my death isn't far into my future. I'll be 19 in three months. I just live to learn to live life as best I can. I love it and make the best of it like my dad. I don't hate my dad for giving me his disease. He's my hero and he always will be. However, that doesn't mean my world isn't shattered. I've never felt my heart sink so low into my chest. I haven't cried so much since my dad passed and I feel sick. Having them look at your face and telling you that you have Huntington disease and you're going to die is paralyzing. Mr. Speaker, we have one job and that is to live an extraordinary life. We share this story with all Albertans to help bring awareness and some compassion to those with such rare diseases as Huntington's.